Hi, welcome back again to the world of maths. Now, revision, revision is very important. I just had a student coming and telling me, Hey, Mrs. Kumar, you know what? I did very well in my sec 4 part, but we came to my earlier, I screwed it up. I said, what? I screwed it up. And I said, oh, oh, so your basics are not right. You need, see, see, I'll be very frank with you. She just, this girl's a new girl, she came to me, but she improved in her secondary four. But maths takes time to develop, right? And if you had all your earlier work in place and get it strong, that will make you strong, all right? So that's why the revision is needed. And I know my students, some of them who are new with me, need to build up on the basics. And I want to tell you, my dear boys and girls, look through your revision. Things like scales and maps are learned when you are in secondary one. So that's why this revision is meant for sec one right up to even the adults can look at it, all right? So this is important. Scales and maps, everyday life, as I go along, you will know it's a very gradual process. We build you up and then from the basic, we'll get to the toughest sums by the end of the day. So be with me, my dear, charge. Now let's look at this on a map, a length of 5 cm represents an actual distance of one kilometer. You know how important scales are, right? You only want to draw a draftsman. He needs to do on scales and maps. You cannot run away. This is a crucial thing in everyday life. And look at this map. They want 5 cm to represent one kilometer. And how do you calculate the scale of the map in the form of one is to n? Then the actual distance in kilometer represented by 12 cm on the map and the area of the map in cm squared, which represents an actual area of 5 km squared. Now let's look at it, be steady. What they said, 5 cm representing 1 km. 10 cm represents 2 km, right? 20 cm, 4 times of it will be 4 km. Now they want you to express it in the ratio 1 is to n. Now this must be the same unit of measurement and it's for length, not for area. Alright, you cannot say 1 cm squared represents 4 km squared. Then you can put it in terms, nope, it's for length. Let's get it right. Okay, now let's look. Hey, what is it? 5 cm represents 1 km. Alright, 1 cm will represent how much? One fifth of a kilometer. When 1 divided by 5, which is how much is that if you can tell me? 0 0.2 km. Alright, if you take your 5 and you divide by 1, ah, cannot carry the 1, you get a 2. So it represents 0 0.2 kilometers. Now, my dear friends, you cannot write 1 is to 0 0.2. Ouch! No! They must be the same unit of measurement. You've got to change that 0 0.2 km to centimeters. Alright? So, what is 0 0.2 km? You know, 1 kilometer is equal to 1,000 meters. So, 0 0.2 km, you multiply it by 100, sorry, 1,000 change it to a meters and then to change it to cm you multiply by another hundred how many zeros are there here three plus two five zeros you shift how many times five times one two three four five so you've got in cm twenty thousand cm 0 0.2 kilometers is 20,000 cm. Now, one kilometer, just to take note, everybody, one kilometer is 1,000 meters, and one meter is 100 cm. All right? So, if you were to look at one kilometer, look at one kilometer, you want to change it to cm, 1,000 meters, you want to change it to cm. Every one meter is a hundred. One thousand meters will be a thousand hundred cm. A thousand hundred cm, if you look at it, three zeros, two zeros, 
five zeros. This is what you get. All right, a thousand of a hundred, one hundred thousand times. Three zeros, two zeros, you get five zeros, and that's in cm. So what is zero point two km? I just really want to reinforce this basic knowledge. So that's why I'm going into it. You multiply this by zero point two, a hundred thousand times zero point two. You get two, and you shift right. You just put these numbers down first. All right, two times one, two times one is two. Now one decimal place, toin. You put a toin. So what do you get? You shift. You put a point here. You get twenty thousand cm. Now once you've got that, we said a one cm. You represent zero point two kilometers, and zero point two is this. So if you look at the scale, hence the scale is is one is to twenty thousand cm. You do not need to write the units of measurement. When you write like that, it means one cm represents twenty thousand cm, or one meter represents twenty thousand meters. Wow! But do you want to have a map having one meter representing? Does do we have a very big paper? Are we living in such a gigantic world? All right. Yes, I know the world's gigantic, but the scale that is measurable, you want to build it into booklets or drafts. So we usually take one cm, same unit of measurement, one cm to twenty thousand cm. All right, that's part one. Now the part two, the actual distance represented by twelve cm. So what is twelve cm? Now you know that one cm represents Now we go because they want it in kilometers. So one cm represents zero point two km. So what does twelve cm represent? All right, you multiply zero point two times twelve. What is twelve times two? Twenty four. One decimal place. So it's zero two point four kilometers. So twelve cm represents two point four kilometers. All right. Now we come to scale. In we come to map area. They want to find out the actual area is five kilometers squared, and what is the area of that map? What's the area of the map? All right. Logical, my dear friends. Logical reasoning. You know that one cm represents zero point two kilometers. All right. One cm. Represents, all right, zero point two km. Now, what are we given? We're given the actual, and we want to find the scale. So we got to put the unknown is always here. So this will not be a nice way of writing. I should write it the other way. I said, hey, um, let's look at this again. Zero point two km. You represent. One cm, right? This is represented by is represented. I better write because this is the actual. This is the scale. Now one kilometer is represented by because it's represented by. Now this is one divided by zero point two. Is represented by you divide it, and what you get one kilometer is five cm. Which is already known here, given to you. I just want to bring it back again, and we can use it. One kilometer, you are five cm. All right, we could use that. Okay, so just want to reinforce another method. So one kilometer is represented by if you divide here, shift, shift, then divide to get five cm. Given. What is one kilometer squared going to be? Is represented one kilometer, one kilometer. You know the area, length times breadth, length times breadth. So one times one, you get one kilometer squared. But one kilometer is how long? In the scale, five cm. In the breadth here, you look five cm, five cm. So you get five one kilometer squared will be represented by five cm times five cm. Twenty-five cm squared. 
I hope you've got that picture. When you talk about one kilometer squared, it's a length of one kilometer and a breadth of one kilometer. And that gives you. But this length, when you put it into a scale, is 5 cm. This length, when you put it to scale, 5. 5 by 5 area, you get 25 cm squared. So what does 5 km squared represent? Alright, you multiply by 5. So you get 25 times 5 is 125 cm squared. Now so much for skills and math reading. This is just a very basic knowledge. When we write 1 is to n, please take note, this is only used for length. I can't say a, one for area, no, this is for length. And we've got to be very watchful. They're the same unit of measurement. All right? And we'll come to question two. As we move on, you'll see the level of difficulty. Hang on.